worst, the worst, bitch. Hey, like you said, my name is Erica Flynn. I am running for state representative in the 84th Assembly District. That is New Berlin, Greenfield, and Southwest Milwaukee. And um, I just want to say something directly to our president here on this tax day. Mr. President, you and people who work for you have said repeatedly that the American people don't care about your taxes, that we don't care about how much you and your family stand to gain by the tax scam that you and the Republicans put in place. I'm here to tell you today that I do care. All the people here around me also care. And so do the millions of people around this nation who have protested and marched and called to protest your insane policies. So I call upon you today to re release your taxes. And what better day than today? Because it is in fact tax day. And there are many reasons to care about the tax scam. Uh, I just want to tell you about one. And this is a person I really love. And Angela talked about her mom, and I, I want to talk about my mom too. Uh, my mother's name is Jean. She was a formidable woman. She did not suffer fools, and she did not give you compliments unless you really deserved it. Uh, she loved to read, she loved to take walks, she loved nature. Uh, she had this huge garden that she never quite stayed on top of, but every year she tried to. And she played the piano. And when I was a little girl, she and I told her that I wanted to play piano too, uh, she got me a piano and she arranged for lessons. And about eight years ago, she suffered, suffered a traumatic brain injury. When they wheeled her into the emergency room, she had a 50-50 chance to live. She did survive, uh, and for a while she got better, but <coughs> five brain surgeries takes its toll, and these days uh, she's confined to a wheelchair, and she can't talk, and she can't walk. Has trouble feeding herself. Um, she's probably never going to play piano again. Um, my mother's on Medicaid. She depends on Medicaid for her health care needs, which are complex and ongoing. So when Paul Ryan and the other Republicans say they're going to pay for the tax cuts by cutting Medicaid and Medicare, they're going after my mom. <coughs> they're going after my mom. And I know Paul Ryan isn't running again, but you know, make no mistake, you know, the Republicans in Congress who voted for this, they don't care about people like my mom. They somehow think that, for whatever reason, she doesn't, she doesn't deserve health care. And they swore up and down that they weren't going to pay for their tax cuts for the rich by cutting Medicaid and Medicare and all these other services that regular people depend on. But when it comes right down to it, that is exactly what they're doing. And so my mom, and all the other moms and dads, and grandparents, and children who depend on Medicaid and Medicare, they're just expendable to these people. And they're going to cut my mom's health care so that rich people can play more rounds of golf or something. Well, I will not stand for it. I will not stand for it, and we will not stand for it. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to keep marching and protesting and volunteering and voting. Because we are going to vote those people out. We're going to vote some people in who actually care, and actually care about people like my mom. So I want you to take passion and energy you feel today, find a way to make a change. So it might be volunteering and knock on doors, make calls. It could be helping your elderly neighbor because she needs your help. But whatever you do, I want you to keep striving to make the world a better place. It's my mom and millions like her.
are depending on this. Thank you for being with me today. Subscribe, bitch!